Lloyd from the Kanawan Institute News Center, the hottest and the most reliable news channel with the latest news and information. And now, for the headlines. As injuries due to firecrackers continue to increase, a total ban might be implemented nationwide. Haiti is tainted at CMA's 2016 red carpet. Reyes and his brother Mario were arrested in Phuket, Thailand. A silver medal taken home from weightlifting after two decades. Hashtag Aldab EPT Tamang Panahon breaks hashtag World Cup record for the most number of trees. Super Typhoon Yolanda hits the Philippines. Good evening, Philippines, and to all of our audiences all over the world. Good evening to those who are listening to us at the News Center here today, and to all dear listeners and viewers from coast to coast. This, this is System News TV. Many Filipinos believe that the celebrating a new year with a loud sound will welcome luck and push the bad spirits away. That's the reason why firecrackers have been always part of the Philippine tradition as a greeting for the new New Year's Day. But for some people, instead of having a good luck, the opposite happens to them because of the side effects of the firecrackers like injuries that may lead to amputation and even worse, death. From a meeting with the ILG, PNP, BFP, LGU, as well as the manufacturers and dealers of firecrackers in Bulacan, Interior and Local Government Assistant Secretary Rico Judge Echeberry said that the President Duterte will ban the use of firecrackers if firecracker-related injuries reach 800. Since 2001, firecrackers have been banned in his hometown, Dabao City, due to health and environment concerns and the President's plans to implement the same throughout the Philippines. Chief Jack Olido stated that all buyers should check if the firecrackers have a PS mark to ensure its safety as it is the proof that the product went to all safety measures. Thank you, Mr. Bandianon. One of the most awaited music awards finally happened and here is Mr. Carabeno for the report. We are here at CMA 2016 Red Cup. I am seeing a lot of big artists and now we have Hill Stainfield. Besides yourself, so hello, are you excited to be today? I'm so excited. Oh my God, there's so much that is about to go down. I can't believe I'm here. Is there anyone looking forward to seeing you perform tonight? Oh my god. There's so many people here that I love. I'm overwhelmed, but maybe Beyonce. I'm a huge fan. Beyonce goes without saying. I mean, true, so... Okay, Rihanna. Now, are you nervous tonight? Do you get nervous for this class? I'm kind of like an excited nervous. I feel like it's so so new that I get to be in a place where I'm surrounded by so many people that I love and admire and, lo and look up to so it's really like a nervous excitement. But I don't know, it's all crazy. And there's a lot of pressure because there's one of those shows where fashion is so great and people are taking risks. Speaking of your dress, it is so gorgeous. Thank you so much. Please start planning to dress when you are actually coming to the scenes. Well, if it were up to me, I'd like to kind of, you know, at least like a week or so in advance. Like you have an idea, but I've been on the road with Megan Trainor, and that's kind of crazy when you're on the road and you're like, oh, the CMAs are coming up. Should I should probably start thinking about it then before you know it's it's the before and you're like what am I wearing? So this is the last minute thing but works out. Your last minute thing but you know works out. You last minute thing is song will look amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Haley. Have been much fun tonight. It was great to meet you. This is Vic with Romero Bueno. Back to the studio. Thank you for that interview, Mr. Romero Bueno. Up next. James and his brother Mario were arrested in Phuket, Thailand. More news will be reviewed after a short break. Hoy, ano to? Ba't ka nagtatapon dito? Bakit? Isa lang nun, tsaka minsan lang to. Ayos lang yun. What if millions of people ang nakaisip na ngayon? You know, kahit na yung small trust na yan, 
that can cause the start of pests and bacteria can be blown away to rivers where the sea creatures can mistook it for food at marami pa. And also, it is not that hard to throw it at the right place. Former Palawan Governor Joel T. Reyes and former current Mayor Mario Reyes were arrested in Phuket, Thailand over Ortega killing. They were accused of the death of Jerry Ortega, an environmental activist who hosted the radio show to accuse the Reyes brothers of corruption. He was shot and killed by a lone assailant in a clothing store in Puerto Princesa City in 2011. The brothers fled to Thailand and were fugitives for more than three years until their capture in Phuket, Thailand. PNP's Task Force Tugis went to Thailand last year to look for the Reyes brothers. They were detained on Thai Island and Thai police are holding the brothers, waiting for their deportation. Ortega's family was stunned with the news and felt relieved that the trial for Ortega's death can be continued. Thank you, Ms. Mario. 2016 Filipino weightlifter Heidi Diaz won Philippines' first Olympic medal for the first time in 20 years. Here is the report. Heidi Lindias made history for the Philippines as she won the Olympic Games weightlifting. The latter won in the women's 53 kilogram weightlifting category at the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's the first time weightlifting that won a silver medal since Olyok Velasco's triumph at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. Can you tell us what you feel right now? Did you expect to win a medal? I'm really proud of myself. For my nation, I gave it my all. That, as well as winning a medal, is my ambition. Our goal is to win a bronze medal. My coach told me that there was nothing they could do, and they grow discouraged. So, in order to regain my strength, I tried to do clean and jerks as often as possible. Thank you, Ms. Heidi Diaz, and congratulations. This is Desiree Piamonte reporting back to the Thank you, Ms. Piamonte, and congratulations, Ms. Heidelin Diaz. Now, for the sports trivia, did you know that sports have been played on the moon? On February 6, 1971, Apollo 14 astronauts Alan Shepard and Edgar Mitchell became the first and only people to play golf on the moon. Shepard got inspired for this golf moonshot when famous golfer Bob Hope visited the NASA's manned spacecraft center. The purpose of this moonshot was to demonstrate the moon's gravitational pull. Alan Shepard hit two golf balls that traveled for 70 seconds and landed 24 to 40 yards away. Wearing a spacesuit and using a makeshift golf club, there is a possibility that these factors affected the strength of the shot. NASA is creating newer and more flexible moon spacesuits in 2024. If golfing is possible, they will see if this can affect the shot. Have a trivia? Just let us know by using hashtag trivia life. And for more updates and information, just use hashtag system news What an interesting trivia! Thank you for that. And now for the showbiz update, here's Camille Bulan for the report. And for System Boss update, hashtag Adam EB Tamang Panahon breaks hashtag World Cup record for most number of tweets. The official hashtag of the Tamang Panahon concert of all the love team of Alden Richards in Maine Mendoza on Itbulaga recorded over 39.5 million tweets. Furthermore, hashtag Adam EB Tamang Panahon also broke the 35.6 million tweets recorded by the hashtag World Cup match between Brazil and Germany in 2014. This is another part that Aldo is a global phenomenon, as stated by Twitter Asia Pacific and Middle East Vice President Rishi Jaitley. Tamang Panahon is the title of Aldo's concert Grand Fans Day. It was able to fill the Philippine Arena with a seating capacity of 55,000 people, the largest live audience of Ifbulaga during its 36 years in the air. Ifbulaga also collected 14 million pesos from the sale of tickets for the concert. This amount will be used to build school libraries and purchase books in various schools in the country. So they consider it part of history, not only of the Kapuso Newtime show, but also of the entire television history. This is Kamil Simbulan, 
reporting. Thank you, Mr. Bulan. Now, let's talk about Super Typhoon Yolanda. Super Typhoon Yolanda made a landfall in the Philippines on November 8, 2013. It included as a category of 5 stars. It was also the most powerful typhoon at all time during 2013. The typhoon sustained a speed of more than 150 miles per hour, and the storm surge was even more destructive. Based on the local officials of Tacloban City on the island of Leyte, it destroyed 90% of properties and houses around it. The super typhoon affects more than 14 million people across the provinces, displacing 4.1 million people, killing 6,000 people, and leaving 1,800 missing persons. In addition, the super typhoon damaged 1.1 million houses and also destroyed 33 million coconut trees. Also, disrupted the livelihood of 5.9 million workers, and it contains $5.8 billion. That's all for today's news update. Benedict Bandiano at your service 24-7. Venus Macario providing just only the facts. For the sake of the truth. And for the interest of the people. This, this is System, System News TV. TV.